Let's see if that nice little NVIDIA logo comes up like it should. That looks good. Ooh, it's not reacting to the controller. That's not good. No, huh? Alright. One second. Oh, that's the wrong mic, too. All right, we're going to restart this in just a moment. There we go. That's a charming look. Let's get you on the right piece of equipment. Good. And now let's figure out why you're not being recognized. And now I'm sure you've frozen up. You sure have. There we go. Get rid of that. All right, that looks better. And by looks better, I mean sounds better. As opposed to my cat crying in the weaves. Let's get rid of that. Hooray. Got there. We've had worse for tech issues. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Because, unfortunately, my task manager was right over top of the chat. <laughs> it's the little things. One more time. There. Is it still third time of the charm when it's the fourth time? Still not recognizing that controller, huh? All right, let's try a different port. I think it just bugs me when things that were working stop working, you know? If I try something new and it doesn't work the way I expect, that's fine. That happens. Ooh. That's not working either. Oh no. Hang tight, everyone. What if I do this? Mouse, show me the controls. No, I don't want... No, stop that. Can I, like... Eh? And that won't. Nope. <laughs> uh. Just option, huh? You're full of crap. Nope, that won't do it. Hey, Christy. Uh, welcome to Tech Support, the stream. Where I try to figure out. Oh, I'm a dingus. <laughs> Found the problem. Whoop. Come back here, Mike. <sighs> and I've created a new problem. Hang tight, everyone. It's just a big old cluster. There we go. Touch D. Nope, stop that. Hey, Ozzy, you want to say hi to the stream? Yeah, buddy, I know you would have figured it out the first try. So my controller has a weird little break in it about four inches up that can become partially separated. There it is, look at that. Love to see it. Okay, let's try this one more time. It turns out it was working the whole time. The real controllers are with the friends we made along the way. I hope y'all are doing well tonight. We're gonna play some more Tomb Raider Anniversary and uh, I'll fix the rest in post. We'll just pretend that those first three and a half minutes didn't happen, except for this reference that I'm doing with them now. That probably isn't gonna help me sell that. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're in uh, St. Francis Folly. Chat voted for the Damocles door, so damned if you Damocles. But here we go. Eventually. Am I supposed to make the door go up? Oh, wait, is this the one? This is the weird one. Oop. We started on a weird one. Ha chonk. Big chungus. Right, let's get you a little bit closer. This will make more sense once we actually show the door going up. Yep. There we go. And block. Chunk. Good. Good, good, good. To here. And one more time. Whoop. But, but why, though? There we go. <laughs> that one pixel was just not having it. You know what? That's fire. 
These pixels do a lot. Do we have a shotgun? We have a shotgun. Let's keep the shotgun out. You never know when you're going to need a shotgun. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it's the Damocles room, and the Damocles legend... There's not a whole hell of a lot to it. So I'm guessing this is all... Yeah, it's all swords related. Okay, I remember this room. There's going to be... Just oh so much stabs. Well, there's the key. Let's grab this. And immediately get out of there. Whomst could have foreseen. Oh, that's right. This is the one with the first bullshit mechanic. Yes. Okay, good. Da, 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 da. Well, this room probably won't take me nearly as long this time as it did the first time I did it. All right, music, quit being so dramatic. We have a puzzle to solve. Is this actually depicting the Damocles legend? I don't think it is. Ah, that's all right. Ah, well, that up there actually looks pretty good. Yeah, all right. Well done, designers. Whoop, let's come up the rope a little bit. There we go, made it. Hey, Max. Oh yeah, it's so much stabbing. It's just stabs all the way down. There we go. Uh, okay. Ooh. Probably could have done that better. It's fine. I was like, how many swords? And the game was like, all sword. Just, just oodles. There was a sale. They went to Costco. Whoop. And zap. All right, and this one activates the other room. There we go. Down and down. We have not yet begun to sword. I forgot about the ceiling swords. How could I forget about the giant ceiling swords that make no sense? Um, so there are the ceiling swords, there are floor swords. Legend of Zelda floor swords. Um, and now we have to do a nice little timed floor puzzle that will kill us if we are too slow. What could possibly go wrong? It's like chess, only slightly deadlier. I say slightly because I have played with my brother when we were both younger. Oh, I dodged into the sword. Hey, Al. You hate to see that. All right, let's, that's all right. We got through the whoop. I forgot about that one again, somehow. All right. Well, at least the floor puzzle we got done. But yeah, there are these, kind of can't see them. There are all these swords in the ceiling. And if we get near them on the ground, they will fall. And they have a surprising amount of splash radius considering that they are, in fact, swords which is a little obnoxious uh, let's just take a moment there we go okay so there's one there unfortunately the ceiling is a grid the floor is not a grid so I'm not really gonna be able to line these up chest style there we go I think if I just hug this wall we'll avoid most of them yep okay that scared me a little bit it's fine it's fine we're fine everything's fine what do you worry about <clears throat> just a giant sword Whoever died from that. <clears throat> Ooh, no, don't jump into... Okay, Laura. The the column. The lid. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I think it's still this thing. I just beefed the jump last time. Nope, not that thing. And up. Or is it this thing? And I just beefed the jump twice. It is. <laughs> The worst thing about these games is not being able to tell. It's like, okay, is that jump actually too far? Or did I just completely botch what seemed like a really straightforward jump? Because they put them right at the edge of the distance. Which is obnoxious. It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll, we'll get through it. Oh, nope, not that way. Can we, can we take a moment to appreciate this buff-ass boss relief over here? That's, that's pretty great. And over. There we go. And here, other column. Welcome to the stream of columns. There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope. Oh, I was worried I was going to clip the wall. Okay, here's the bullshit mechanic. So we're doing a wall run, which is a thing that we've done plenty of times, and it's totally fine. Um, there's this thing that they introduce here that they don't really tell you about, and I wish that they had included a tutorial for which is, we have to wall run, and at the, it's not the apogee, at the far end of the curve, 
we have to let go of the left stick, point it back off the wall, and jump all in a couple of seconds. And the game is very finicky about it. Or we could get it in one and make a whole liar out of me, and that's fine. We'll do it so many more times, I'll have plenty of chances to fail. But it took me so long to figure out that the trick was, once you start wall running, let go of the left to right direction and just focus on that 90 degree turn. I hope that sword doesn't fall, that would suck. Can you pick up the sword? That would be awesome. Unfortunately, no. That was the first game where we got the... Well, it wasn't really Excalibur, I guess. The sword and the stone? We got the sword and the stone. And with it, we cast Stab and killed a bunch of people. We weren't really broken up about it either. Right, if you want to fail, you'll get it. Exactly. Uh, Alright, that's probably a timed door. So let's do down. I know. It's close. It's fine. We got there. Uh, okay. Is there a trick to this one? Nope, this is just one of the jump ones. So we'll see doors like this in all four of the rooms. Um, and I think two of them or three of them require that we do this thing we're about to have to do. Which is timing a jump so that we're floating in the air and coming back down uh, to be able to catch that ledge, which we can't catch on the way up. So that one's fun. What I'm saying is St. Francis Folly is a... Uh, a jerk temple full of jerks, made by jerks, for jerks. So it's good that we're here, I guess. All right. That was not so bad. The Damocles door is probably one of the easier ones. Um, we've got Atlas, Poseidon, and Hephaestus up at the top. I'm going to make an executive decision because we started with the lowest one, and uh, we'll just go up in order. Which I think puts Poseidon next, and I'm, honestly, I'm pretty okay getting the water temple out of the way first, you know? Well, not first, but... First-ish. Because what is second, but second first? Wait. Yep, 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 yep. Hooray. All right, there's the Poseidon door. How do I get here again? From there to there to there. Over here. Got it. Okay. Yep. So I had to look this one up because Damocles is a really minor legend. Like, the fact that they included it in here makes me think that someone had just watched, like, Rocky Horror Picture Show and heard the sort of Damocles line and went, Oh, Damocles, I love that dude. Um, it's it's a really crappy legend, too, honestly, because it's basically like a, it's a fable. It's not a legend is, is overselling it. Um, it's, it's basically only known because of the idiom. It's really only known because of the sort of Damocles idiom, um, which is also kind of shit because it refers specifically to the, like, why you should feel bad for people who have everything. Um, so the myth is very much like a prince and pauper scenario where there's this this dude, um, and I think Damocles is, is the dude who doesn't have anything, um, and he's complaining about how, like, the king has it so easy, and the king goes, well, my life isn't so easy. Try it on for size. And they switch places, and Damocles is like, oh god, now that I have all this wealth, I spend all of my time worrying about people stealing it, and this is actually worse than not having wealth, which is, of course, crap. Um, and so the whole thing, as opposed to Prince and the Pauper, where they both learn something, and the guy who has the power doesn't give it back because power corrupts, uh, the Damocles myth is all about, I think Dionysius is the king, um, and Damocles just goes, no, please, have your crown back. I don't want it. And it's this huge, like, oh, rich people have it so tough. You should pity them. And it, I just, it gets me mad every time. Anyway, that was my long rant about Damocles. How are y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Meanwhile, like, I'm sorry, but Hephaestus and Poseidon are Olympian gods. And Atlas, at least, is kind of a cool story. Sounds like the best solution would be to share the wealth, right? If you gave it away, you wouldn't have to fear losing it. Right, because that was the idea. Uh, but at the end of it, the king just takes that responsibility back. Oh, right. Like, right. But he still hoards the wealth. Century BC, 
4th century BC would you expect? Fair? That's fair. And little platform. You know, as water temples go, uh, this this little bit actually didn't give me too much trouble. There is another water temple bit later that's more complicated. But this one actually, it's kind of nice. Also, I like the fish statue. You push the block back, it blocks up the water, the water drains. For some reason, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know. Who am I to tell a video game that physics are real? There we go. Hop over here. I do love the water, though. It looks really, really nice. So I haven't played this one on the, the PC much. I've just played it on the Xbox. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's much prettier. Okay, so we have the... Got it. Okay, so we have the platform that's now stuck under the bridge. And we move the block down. So we shut off the other fish. Sorry, fish. Kiss the block. Uh, the yellow caution symbol is a, a thing that is the game telling me you can do an interact prompt here. And they just kept it generic because they didn't know if people would be using keyboard or... Uh, what's the other word? Controller, that's the word. Um, so they just went with caution symbol for... You can press Y to do a thing to it. Uh, let's see, can I just... Is there enough water still? Ow! Nope, nope, there sure wasn't. Sure wasn't enough water, Andy. Ah, it's fine. You just come over here. Alright, I think there's only one section here that's like... Whoop, come on, camera. Back it up. Okay, so that little triangle up at the top that we can't get to any other way is where we need to get this one, and we can't do it in one level. So we have to get it, like, halfway there. Let's walk over here. And here. All right, and I think, yes, okay, the bridge above us is broken. So we'll float to the surface where we want it. Crap, I forgot how to get up from here. There it is. <laughs> oh no, now I'm trapped here forever. Eh. Even the water reflections are nice. Wow. Hey. Now we free the fish. Happy fish mouth. Hey, bad road. Welcome. There we go. Okay, now you're most of the way there. Hop over here. Just give you like one tug. And should we give you like it? No, let's let's leave you there. I think the game will be kind. Maybe that's a maybe that's too nice of an assumption, but this is one area where actual physics will be on our side. Hopefully, maybe. Up, free the fish mouth. That's not the button. <laughs> now free the fish mouth. <laughs> I, so the water temple, I was actually just talking about how um, this water temple I like a lot. Um, there's one that we'll run into later. I'm almost certain we'll get to it this stream. There's one that we'll get to later that I'm, like, I like it in in theory, but it is absolutely going to kick my butt trying to remember all the order of operations, I'm pretty sure. Nope, I'm not done. Wait, why? Why are you like this? There we go. That'll get you closer. Whoop. No. Alright. Now again, is this me missing the jump? Yes, it is. <laughs> and, and, and around. Lovely mosaic. And up. And down. Where's the key? There's the key. And the switch... And I think to leave, we also have to just sort of put things back the way we found them. Sorry, fish. Let's push. There we go. Love to see that checkpoint.
The underwater segments in this, with maybe one exception, are not nearly as stressful as the underwater segments in the Survivor trilogy, where it feels much more like I'm actually about to drown. It helps, I think, that in this one, when you run out of air, you just start losing health a little bit. And you can use... Uh -huh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, and you can use health packs underwater. So, like, it's not... It's not as crisis level as certain other games who will not be named Sonic. Yep. Pretty sure jumping that far into water would actually kill you. Yeah. At least serious injury would be involved. Three, four... Okay. It's about a four second count. Ask me how I know. I failed those jumps so many times I started just doing the math on it. Because <laughs> they're just, they're so fiddly. All right, uh, so I think that puts Atlas up next. Now Atlas is gonna almost certainly be like, we're gonna have to outrun a giant rolling globe. Like, we're all on board with that, yeah? This is one of those that could not be less of a surprise. Whoop. Hey, hop. And up. Perfect. Uh, crap. <laughs> we need to go down to go up. Uh, so we need to go ahead and over there, maybe? Yes? Yeah. Okay, I guess we did actually need to go up here. And then that, to that, to that, to that. Okay, got it, I think. Or do we need that? No, I think, well, hmm. Where would I jump to that from? How would I get there? There? Whoop, missed it. Yeah, don't checkpoint that. I don't wanna checkpoint my failure. Uh, hmm. Well, that's a slidey downy bit, which won't help us here. It's just heavy. Hey, Riz! Let's just safely go down. There we go. Let's try this again from the bottom up. <laughs> hey, Geek Corner! Stuck the landing, exactly. <laughs> Got there. All right, over here, and to the ladder. Perfect. And up to here. Up to he nope, missed it. One more time. And... Got there. And around. Perfection. Nope. I don't know why I always think I can jump that. It's just out of reach. Alright, let's take just a breather here. I gotta figure out how to get up into that. How to get all up in that. Or do I? I am going about this the wrong way. I'm supposed to go up there. And down through there. Ignore me, everyone. I was completely wrong. Speaking of completely wrong... <laughs> this bodes well, right? This many just... Let's... Let's... Jump with instinct instead of actually checking stuff. That probably bodes well. Whoops. Whoops. And we made it. Around the side... Around and up. Hooray. Got there. Alright, so we want to get to there to go down there. Got it. Almost walked directly off. Woo. Yeah. And here. Alright, so those will definitely get me there. Uh, which means I think I want to go up one more level. We're going above the Hephaestus door to get to the Atlas door. I don't think that's a metaphor for anything. What was that? What was that noise? I heard like a bell. It was weird. Whoop. Alright, so we go over here, over here. Nailed it. Just gently. Gently. Down to here and around. I remembered! Hooray! And down. There we go. Hey yeah. Atlas door. Celebratory backflips. Alright. Uh is this the one that breaks? 
Let's chance it. It's not. Hooray. I guess it makes sense that it's the Hephaestus door that is, like, falling apart. And whoop. One over. Over. Thank you. <laughs> Got there. I don't think there are monsters in any of these, but just in case there are, we have a shotgun. Alright, we'll roll out a floor that'll absolutely start receding the second we let go. It's good design. Love to see it. Very efficient, certainly. Oh, okay, so you remember what I said that it's an Atlas puzzle, so there's totally gonna be, like, a giant globe. And, like, we're clearly in the half pipe of hate over here. Uh, I do see some switches, though. So we're going to hit those first before we release the globe. Hit it up. It's amazing how smooth rock can move against rock, isn't it? Right? It's just, it's, uh, I guess it's good engineering or a thousand-year loop. I'm not sure which. Could be both. All right, and this will put a, okay, got it. So when we inevitably have to run away from the giant ball of death, that's our, our safety stick. So this puzzle I remember specifically because it screwed me up the first time, where there's this nice little, like, thing on the floor here. And when you stand here, you can target these little triggers. You hit them both, the globe comes rolling down, and we just have to outrun it. No problem, right? Except if you're standing this close to it, you actually can't outrun it. Or if you can, I've never been able to. So we're going to stand way back here and do it manually. There we go. Spears the first. And one more time. Got there. And now we run. <laughs> it gives us a little bit of a lead. Hopefully it's enough of a lead. Whoop. Nope, not enough of a lead. Needed to jump immediately on that first loop. Yep, yep. One more time. Can I do it from this far back? Sure can. There we go. Luckily, other than this, it's a pretty easy room. Lip. Got there. Goodbye, Stick. You were a true and loyal friend. Can you stand closer and it falls past you? Uh, not that I've ever pulled off. I think it's because until you hit the switches, there are spikes that are pointing out that will just knock you back. It's a good idea, though. Whoop. Hey, dip, hey. That's just fun. Let's grab. Nope. Full on shotgun ammo. Key of Atlas. Alright. Damocles, Poseidon, Atlas. Uh. Okay, now we need the other switch to get back. I was like, hey, wait. Oh no, without stick, how can we cross the chasm? Anyway. With the switch. Oh, this flippy shit's killing the business. <laughs> What's over here? Ooh, hello. Thank you. Okay, you are a temporary switch. Good to know. That's... Like I'm quoting my own Tinder profile, that's fine. There we go. Over here. Made it. Uh, okay, and then we do this one again. This is one of the nicer ones. Because Stick Jr., son of Stick, is here. Which is nice. <laughs> oh, no, no. Laura, please. Which means we can take all the time we need to do this. Hooray! <laughs> stick, sticky. <laughs> stick, stickly? I like it. Stick, Stickerson Jr. Alright. Now Hephaestus, and we're good to go. And can I jump that? Nope. 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 Sure can't. Sure can't. Let's try that one more time and not be quite so brazen. 
<laughs> See, and I thought that they were extending that specifically to get us back to the main central platform, but I guess they want us to jump down here? Yeah, okay. Just goes around this way. I'm all out of order. There we go. Nope. The third time. Three in a row. Every time I've gotten to this platform, I've jumped straight up. Hasn't worked once, but we're going to keep trying because one day... <laughs> yeah. Yay! All right. Hephaestus. All right. We go through there. She's going to have to get to there. Hold, please. Whoop. Which I think means we just go here? Sure. All right. We go here and then, like, gently... There we go. Walk off. We go over. And then over. Perfect. Up into the little cubby, and then stick to the ledge. Yes, good. Crouch or dive. Dive is like crouching. Woo! Came out of that a little bit faster than I expected. It's fine. We did it! That's enough of that. All right, this is the one that always messes with me because it does this thing. And if you're on it when it does that, it kills you. Because game devs are jerks. That's not true. Well, it might be a little true. There we go. And now the Vandergraaf machine. Because, of course, Hephaestus forged lightning bolts. Makes sense. Okay, this is the one where I have to hit the four buttons. And it's the, the raised bits that get electrified. There, it's fine. Just don't be on the up parts. Whoop. Wait for it. Hooray! Oh, almost. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. I tried to get fancy with it, and it was my downfall. I feel like there's a lesson in that. Whoop. Come here, my dude. If you would so kindly just sit in here and face your mohawk that way. Very nice. Thank you. That's pretty. I like that. Uh, that's a big hammer. That's a cube. This is a cube. Let's use one cube to get the other cube. Nope. Let's try that again. Nope. Yeah. Hurp. Wait, really? One more time. Hurp. Okay, never mind. Whoop, come here. Hey, dee dee. Da -da -da -da. Push you on the button. Whoop, that's missed the button. <laughs> Nope, missed it again. <laughs> it's it's slanted like to try and make it easier, but I think it just makes it that much stickier. Oof. Thank you, Hammer. There we go. Sorry, camera. Let's go this way, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And number two. Ensure proper mohawk alignment. <laughs> Just like that, instant centurion. Now we press the button. Go up the hammer. Still full on shotgun ammo. There we go. That's how we get to you. Okay, what do you want? I bet there's an Easter surprise in this one too. What's that behind you? Shy of surprise. Right, in this way. Whoop. Actual Centurion Shia LaBeouf. And hooray. 
Okay. The button came up. And the gates go down. Nice. Biggest bust yet in a two Raider game. God damn it, Bad Road. That's so good, I hate it. Hey! Oh, it's purple. I like it. Alright. Four keys. We can avoid getting electrocuted on the way back. I'll call that a win. Whoop. Well, <laughs> off to a bad start there, Andy. Uh huh. It's fine. Aha! Alright. Uh, this is one of the normal ones. Yep. Up we go. Hey ha. One, two, three, four. Now, picture, if you will, how many times someone who considers themselves a casual player of video games would have to fail at those doors to memorize the timing. <laughs> that will tell you how much I've played this game. Yep. Uh, keys in this one are at the bottom, which is nice. Much easier to go down. Well, okay. It's much easier to go down. Maybe not. Much easier to go down safely. Uh -huh. But at least I probably won't miss a dozen jumps on the way. Probably. Let's go here. Make it fancy with it. There. That's where we're going. Isn't there a ladder? There is a ladder. Hi, ladder. Could probably drop straight down, but I don't want to take any damage. We don't have to. There we go. That's the wrong button. <laughs> uh, okay. Atlas key. I think this is the demi key. Demi key. See, it's funny because in French, clay is. Uh, don't worry about it. Poseidon is cyan, because of course you are. I like that they made Hephaestus purple. I'm not really sure why, but I like it. I mean, I know why I like purple. I don't know why they made Hephaestus purple. I like how they formatted Laura peeking around the Centurion head to make sure she's not bumping into anything. Yes! That happens with basically everything that you, uh, you push in the game. And it's very nice. Like, if you start backing up, she'll actually look behind her. <laughs> she said down! I already did that one, didn't I? <laughs> it's alright. It's, uh... It wasn't Labyrinth. Um, like, just the other night, or earlier this week, a friend and I were talking about... Um, there's a, a Twitter thread, and obviously I can't recommend Twitter in even the best of times, but every once in a while, there's a little sparkling gem. Mouse friend? Where? I heard a squeak. Where the squeak? Okay, we're just gonna like we're just gonna leave you chirping. Um, but every once in a while, there's a gem, and one of them was someone who had made it into like their twenties, having never seen the Princess Bride, and live tweeted their initial reaction to watching it for the first time. Sorry, friend. Um, and like, it's one of my favorite films, and that's not really a hot take from anyone's perspective. But watching somebody, like, experience it for the first time, which is pretty rare for a film that has been that ubiquitous for so long, uh, it was very nice. So yeah, I recommend it. It's very Googleable as a Twitter thread of, I guess, uh, what's the word? Princess Bride live tweet. But it's just, it was so sweet. Yip -da -da -da. There we go. So mentioning, like, she sat down, which is obviously not Princess Bribera's Labyrinth, but it just reminded me of, you know, getting to see people experience those movies for the first time. Uh, this seems bad. We're going to go back, get some air, because we took the wrong turn. <laughs> Twitter, it was the worst of times. That's it. That's the whole sentence. <laughs> you have, Bed Road, made that joke on every one of these. But that's okay, because Labyrinth is a classic. Exactly, this is what I'm saying. Let's go this way. You don't want to go that way. She gone that way. She gone straight to that castle. There we go. And up. Please, please, faster. Okay, got there. 
Rat friends, bat friends. I am sad all the time. Why game do you make me kill all the animal friends? And reptile friends, mammal friends. I don't I don't think there are any fish friends in this one, but if there were, you would make me kill them and I'd be mad about you for it. Yeah, yep. Uh Hey buddy, do you know the way out of this one? Just kinda just kinda hanging out. Just doing your thing. Hey, your friend over there I think has had maybe too much. Maybe you should get them a cab. Alright, can't get up there. I think this is our still our path. Twitter thought I was a robot yesterday. I saw you mentioned that with your uh your uh uh what's the word? Stream announcement. Yep. That's right, considering how much of Twitter got hacked yesterday, apparently. <laughs> I say hacked, but uh, socially engineered, which is what the best hacking is, but uh, still just cracking me up. All right, can I just jump back into this? I can. And then to here, maybe? To there? Whoop. Yeah, all right. And then over. Got there. I like how the whole place is creaking like we're in a sunken ship. It's okay, Bob's just sleeping it off. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. Why is that in my brain? Guess it could be worse. It could be David S. Pumpkins. <gasps> Cutscene! A rare gem. Oh no. Why, game? I was just talking about this. Apes together strong. Alright, fine. Hey, shotgun. We're gonna need you. Good. I'll do a good start. Come on then. Anyone else? Oh, they're so sad though. Alright, let's reload the shotgun for the next time the game makes us do terrible things. How are you going to kill fish with guns? Do you have underwater bullets? I mean, harpoons exist, but no, we don't have any in that game. Or in this game. Alright. Uh... Look for the crumbly bits. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Your friend didn't find that very humorous. That's that's so bad. I love it, but it's so bad. Oh no. I'm sorry, bats, the shotgun was not meant for you. Can I do a yeah, okay, we have I actually got a pretty decent amount of health packs, so that's good. And around over here. Whoop. And we get our health pack back. Awesome. Uh, this is a slidey bit. Okay. Uh, and then this one will let us slide over here. Got there. Up to here. Hooray. Switch. Oh, keyhole. Okay. We need a key. Hey, switch! Okay, the exciting action music means we're going to have to fight more friends, and I'm sad about this. I'm preemptively sad about it. I can hear them. Or at least I can hear their battle music, which is sort of the same thing. I don't, I don't see them yet, but like... With music like this, oh no, that's not the button I meant to press. Oh no. There are so many of them. It's not the button I wanted. It's fine. Okay, run, run. That's, nope, nope, nope. Okay, staggering out the attacks is not. Oh no, okay, come on, really? Okay, this could be very bad, everyone. Oof. Okay, we haven't killed any of them yet. Let's, uh... I might want to reset. <laughs> yeah. We might use fewer health packs. Alright, let's do them. Oof. 
The staggered attacks was rough. Yeah, it is just stun lock all up and down the shop. All right. Oh, that's not the button I meant. Darn it. No, that's all right. We, we still have we still have one mega health pack, which is good. That's the important one. Here we go. Get our self confidence back up with some sick flips. Oh no, guerrilla warfare! God damn it, veteran. <laughs> <sighs> two gorillas and two. What are those jaguars? Um, it's definitely like a lot. No jaguars. Hang on, Greece. What would they be? Mountain lions, probably. I guess. Okay, that's the thing we need. Let's switch back to the guns. You'd think I remember, because we probably fought like a thousand of them in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Not the gorillas, though. In fact, are the gorillas... They shouldn't be local. Well, there are cages here. I guess they were brought from elsewhere. I'm not going to be... Well, can I get out of this? Oh, we'll find out. Oh, yeah, we can. Sweet. Okay, work those quads. It's going. We can do it. I believe in us. Whoop. Smooth as silk. All right, well, we're getting lots of shotgun ammo, but not enough health packs to justify our loss. It's fine. It's fine. I think jaguars are smaller than that. That's true. Although... Gorillas may also be larger than that, so I'm not sure that's as good of a thing. But yeah, I'm just going kind of regionally. There we go. Oh, hey! You made it! How's it going? Just just hanging out. Listen, uh, you, you, didn't, you didn't have a couple of cats, did you? B big ones? Uh, no reason. Oh, hey, Bob! And out we go. It's certainly, uh, uh, you know... No, come on, really? It's certainly in the, the gorilla category size. Hi, let's get a closer look at y'all. Oh no, undead cats. So the shotgun is nice because it's also one of the only weapons that actually... Ow! Stuns. If they don't stun you first, that is. Okay, well, we just exhausted almost our entire supply of health. And the combat music is still going, which makes me think there are gorilla friends? No, okay, just wanted to get to the end of the, the score. That's fine. Jerks. I guess it is a coliseum. But you're not going to convince me that those have been around since the Roman Empire. Like, you're just, you're not going to do it. I can accept magic and Atlantis and all that kind of crap, Tomb Raider, but I draw the line at immortal cats. There you go. Hey, Xenon! Xenon, I'm happy to report you've missed most of our having to be mean to animals. So I think that was a really smart choice on your part, and kind of wish I'd made the same decision myself. <laughs> Can I just have the immortal cats? Yeah. Just as long as they're not also trying to kill us. Maybe even if they are. I can forgive a lot from cats. I mean, at least it's pretty, right? Like, if we gotta die somewhere... Oh, look at that! Oh, I didn't even notice the sky before. That's cool. What a nice matte painting. Depends on how big the cats are. Fair. Whoop! There we go. Might have jumped that a little early, but it's probably fine. Can we make that hook? I guess we'll find out. Yay! No problem. Hooks again? No problem. Uh, if I jump down off of this... Ooh, hello. Okay, that helps. Gently. I, th I figured that was like ammo that I was looking at, but no, it's that was whole guns. Two whole ass guns. Two whole ass guns. Our shadow is doing some weird Peter Pan things on the wall, but it's fine. 
Did I mention that this game has magic? It's probably unrelated. Whoop. Uh, let's see, can I do that? Or would this is probably the way to do, right? Yeah, okay. Whoops, never mind. Can't stand on that. Too broken. There we go. Whoop! Got there. Hooray! Tool assisted speed run where you play the game like normal, but the machine takes over when you have to be mean to animal. Yeah, honestly. That's the kind of tool assistance I could deal with. I'm not going to do that all the time. I mean, I am going to do it a lot of the time because I learned how to do it finally. And it's just, it's so weirdly rewarding. Nope, that's not the way. That's over here. And it actually, like, very, very rarely has combat, uh, you know, is good in combat to be that acrobatic. Just not very often. I hear the squeaks. I hear the squeaks of friends. Yeah, their models really freak out when they die, huh? I mean, we really only hope for the same for us. Oh, that was a whole level, huh? All right. 200 anniversary always throws me off because each level is actually carved up into like quarters. Whoop. Let's try out our new pistols, I guess. Oh, I didn't, hmm. Didn't see the prompt. It's fine. You just maybe not. Shoot you in the butt. Okay. So when they do the rage thing, normally they're the whoop. Didn't see there was three of you. When they do the the rage shout, normally the next attack is supposed to be the one that gives me the slow mo dodge. So when they then do like a run up and a different attack, it's just really throwing me off here. Alright, are there four of you? Music says no. Alright, so this is the Tomb of Midas. So... Probably... Probably shouldn't... Probably shouldn't touch the hand, huh? Touch it, touch it, touch it, we're not, touch we're it. not touching the hand. Well, okay, maybe later. Save, then touch it. There we go. All right, next time we get a checkpoint, we'll go touch the hand. And a switch. So we're down to one mini health pack, which is not great. So hopefully I can start nailing some of these time dodges a little better. Uh, okay. I didn't see. Did we get a checkpoint? We didn't. We'll sh we should get one when we go through this door, so we can just double back. There it is. So, we've got three of these little plates, and we're essentially going to find little bars that we have to then turn into gold to socket into them. Or. We could get one solid gold Laura. Which is what happens when you step in the Midas Dam. Alright. New pistols. Makes you think. Exactly. We really do live in a society. Alright, so now we get the rooms that have, like, a little bit of the same theme of the other rooms, but not exactly the same, and more complicated. I return, and that's someone's fetish. Listen, you're probably not wrong. One second, I'm going to look it up. Xenon, no, why? Oh, come on, really? Do we need another combat game? Do we? I'll come around that corner, huh? I can't kite them. Ok, 
Can we just slowly pepper them from here? I'll do it. I'm not above that. Why didn't it trigger? How to do? Just take all day to reload. Perfect. Your turn. Go ahead, stand up. Now, would anyone else like a piece of this? I have more, just so all our cards are on the table. But I would really rather not continue with the slaughter today. Here we go. I wonder if the Damocles room was probably just because they wanted to do a lot of swords. I think that's 100% the case. Ding dong bong. Because as we all know, that's the sound of a solid lead bar. It sounds like a church bell. Alright, now we just pop on back. I hope not to have to fight an entire army of gorillas. I'm trying to remember what the name of the human-friendly ape was from Planet of the Apes, but I've, I've lost it. Oh, right, the sand came in because we collapsed the column. That, that tracks. Found it. It's got a subreddit. See it on? It's horrifying. I feel both empowered and terrified by this new information. Whoop. Here we go. Oh, oh no, oh no, bats, no, no, no. Well, well. Okay, cool. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, hi. Hey, whoop, come here. Huh? Did he also have a Greco Roman name? <laughs> Got there. Did he also have a Greco Roman name? Um, I mean, I think, I think Damocles is Greek. I could be wrong. Oop. Well, 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 well. Okay, nope, it's fine. We're probably going to do at least some sliding in here. Which is what happens when you have a giant room full of sand. There. Over here. To the rope. All right, and then over here. Nope, that's right. Ropes don't work that way. The one. Hopefully we lined this up right. Yes, okay. Thank you, game, for giving us that one. <laughs> yep. To this little edge. All right. So that's the door we need to go through. Can we get to there, maybe? Can't remember if that's high enough. Whoop. <laughs> what has a subreddit? What doesn't have a subreddit? All good questions. It's another thing I was talking about earlier this week, is that, and this is not like a mark of pride thing, um, although I suppose it could easily be read as such. Um, I've managed to completely avoid Reddit, which, you know, in retrospect, because I'm not going to claim that it was some you know, amount of insight on my part. It just wasn't in my circles. Um, and I think that there's probably good stuff on Reddit. Again, I'm still on Twitter like seven years later, so you can curate your stuff however you like. But I've never felt a lot of Reddit FOMO, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Whoop, come on, why? Why always? This is the whole game now. Didn't have any ammo in the gun. Hard to do a kind cutscene. There's no ammo in the gun. Okay. So, what I'm saying is, I'm bad at the combat tonight. Like, super bad.
Also, the music not, like, ending right away is really starting to mess with my head. <laughs> like, are there more enemies, or you just want to finish out the stream? I'll use it for Pokemon Go info. See, like, again, you could absolutely find good stuff on there, I'm sure. It's a giant repository of, of social networks and information. It's only as good or as bad as the people in a particular corner of it, like most social networks. Aw, oh, that? Really? Alright, fine. It's fine. Just a little little tiny hit when we have exactly one health back. It's fine. Just be very careful to only touch the bar. Put the bar in the hole. Hooray! Progress! Right, that's down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up. Wait, hang on. Wait a moment. Let's do a, just a little bit of digging while we're hopefully in a space that does not have any angry animals trying to kill us. And make sure I haven't missed a health pack in a corner somewhere. They like to hide them behind columns a lot. Eh. No, okay. Worth a shot. Oop. Oop. Up. Hey. Throw a gun at it. You'll have a cool gun. That doesn't work. <laughs> That's true. We could get a golden gun. Like like in like in Golden Eye. That was a very good gun, and reality probably not a great substance. There we go. It's a very malleable material. Health pack! Uh, I don't know that that's the kind of thing that you would want for a high-velocity mechanism. Yeah, it probably would blow apart, would be my assumption. Assuming that it didn't just warp in your hand on gripping it. I guess it could be both. Can I jump to the water? I can! We did it! All right, which one is this? Is this the fire temple? Do do. Ah, do, do, do. No, the fire temple had sconces. This is the sword room. So remember how I said that the rooms here are kind of like a repeat of the other room? So this is like the bigger Damocles room, except now it's all spears instead of swords, but it's kind of the same idea. Pointy end, put it in the other person. Box. And a switch. That's true, it would be at least corrosion resistant. Whoop. Nope, please. There we go. And the big switch. Oh, crap. I remember this room. Okay. So we're trying to get directly across. That's nice. The, the spear crop is coming in good this year. Um, and we basically have to do a zigzag, but every time we touch one of these uh, platforms, insert Cascada reference here, uh, it's going to start falling. Which means that this whole room is basically a giant timed parkour puzzle. Which is unfortunate. It'll be fine as long as we don't miss any jumps ever. When's that ever happened to us? Alright, this is the one that always messes me up because they're not completely lined up. There. We did it! Whoop. We did it. Somebody made a pedestal and put one lead bar on it. Like, you gotta figure this lead bar is lucky, right? Alright, now we're probably gonna get attacked by gorillas again. Because this game has it out for me. And my current mental state. And also my number of health packs. Called it. Nope. 
Okay, now that... What the? Okay. I hit you in the face. Okay. It's the fact that I'm dodging into their attacks. I need some iframes. And then I actually nail the time dodge and the, it doesn't work. And it's just, it's a little jank, I think is what I'm getting at. All right, let's make this thing gold. And then put it in the thing. And then count our one health back again. <laughs> The fact that we still have an health pack gives me at least a little bit of hope, I guess. <laughs> this is not a plinth of honor. No great lead bar is buried here, etc. Nice. Very nice. I still want those nuclear warning site uh, booty shorts. It would be a great idea. Alright, now I gotta remember how to get to the third one. Nope, not that way. Alright. We need to get to there. There is a door over there. So there's a door there that leads out to there. But I don't know where... I guess that door either comes from there or there. We're going to go here first. Although I think that's back where I came. I'm so confused. It's probably fine. Let's go down here. Do not step on the hand. There. Uh, let's go back this way. Do 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 do. Is there another door that I missed? Do 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 do. All right, there's a. Ah, I see it. Okay. You know, like up here. Oh well. It's an artifact, but it's not actually a door, so that's not it. Let's go back. Let's try the sand room. I think I think there's a door I missed in the sand room. And straight across. Does that make any sense? Not sure it makes any sense. Well, we'll try it anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Head out this way. Around here. And up this way. We do actually get a sprint in the third game. Uh, and I'm going to constantly forget to use it because they didn't give us one in Legendary Anniversary. <laughs> Alright, so let's redo this room. Let's see if there's another door I missed. Yep. This one certainly has the height for it. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And over. And over again. To the rope. Wrong way. And a swing. And a swing. Got there. There. And back around. Hey. All right, still just the same door. Did I walk past it on the way out? I might have done that. It's a very me thing to do. Yep, yep, nope, missed it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and over, up, up again. Down, perfect. Now let's see if I'm right. Out this way. Out this way. I don't like the little crumbly bits. Because it makes me worry that we're gonna... Oh, no. I... We got this one already. Alright. Never mind. We did all that for nothing. Sorry, everyone. Into the water. Sploosh. Up. And 
up again. So I think that's the door behind Midas. That's what that switch opened. Because we've been to the other two. Yeah. Should have just checked the door, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, this is the fire temple. Okay, good. This is the second Hephaestus room. There we go. Activate room! <laughs> uh, okay. This is fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I see... I see the eyes of our gator friend. Alright, so there's another platform like this under the water that we need to raise. But the moment I go into the water, Gator Friend is going to come see us. Can I... I feel bad about this, but like... At the same time, I don't want to get eaten. Sorry about this, buddy. I'm not kicking another animal into the water, I'm just shooting the Gator in the water. There it goes. Vaya con Dios. Alright, and down. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kron. <laughs> Excuse me again. Got the sniffles all of a sudden. There we go. It's grief for the gator. That's why my eyes are watering. There we go. Go ahead and Let's put the 50 cal pistols back on. There we go. Alright, so we raise that column. Go here. We wait for the fire circle. Which is always the worst ride at the fair. Up, please, before we burn. Alright, we go around this way. A clip. Up. Please, up. Lever. That raises the little platform. More fire! Because why not? More importantly, checkpoint. Alright, we'll hop off of this. And to there. Here and up. Alright, there was a trick to this one. I can't remember what it was. To the crayon. That's what it was. I always miss that this is here. I try and jump straight to the slanty thin, which is a lot harder. Okay. Ooh, a little... What are you? Eagle? Eagle rabbit? Eagle rabbit? Hamlet? Who even knows? Some kind of an Animal Crossing villager, I'm pretty sure. It could be donkeyish. That's a good point. I couldn't tell if that was a beak or a snoot. And up. I just kind of assumed Chimera. All right, and we're back. Up. There we go. Fire circle. This time we just chase it all the way around. And use this one. Uh, right, okay. And do here. A little bit singed, it's fine. Yep. Oh, really? Okay. Jerk ass. Right, right, a Binut, exactly. <laughs> Yep. Pretty sure B Nude is a Pokemon. Right, lightly rested. Exactly. It's alright, we just went in the water, that'll probably help. I wish it worked like that. Yeah, if we do this, we go around. I'm a lot less worried about it. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? Alright. That's unfortunate. Okay. 
Actually, do we need to go there? We need to go here. We just go here. Ooh, that's a lot of flame. Really? Okay, and we're almost dead already. Great, good. Love to see it. Right, because that one's already pressed. Okay. And around, we're gonna super duper die. Yep. This is where the whole I wish we had more health pack thing really comes into play. All right, well, this time I won't waste the roundabout hitting the other. <sighs> hitting the other one. That's right. If you're gonna fail a jump, fail the second jump. <laughs> you know, Andy, I suspect somehow deep down you don't love to see it. Listen. Call it out. There we go. And go around. Over. Down. Good. I can avoid getting singed by this one on the way. That'll help. Good. Alright. Good start. Do this again. So I guess I have to jump while it's still... Do we get singed just from being here? It's annoying. Yeah, I don't understand how that's supposed to be avoided. Because we can only... We can only vault vertically so quickly and the flames go faster. So I might be doing something wrong there. Do, do, do. Maybe that's why the ladder is there? That might explain it. Probably shouldn't have risked that one, huh? Oh, boy. And fell through that one. Let's go ahead and do that. Save ourselves the time. Is that why that's there? To get me to there? No, because I couldn't go around from there anyway. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to jump actually from there to here and not take all of that extra damage. Nope, oh, come on! <laughs> okay, nope, it's alright, we'll go all the way around. No, we won't. Ah, this one might take a few minutes. If the fire did less damage, it wouldn't be as bad. Which I guess is true of many things. And it did. And maybe fire especially. Round. Let's try that ladder this time and see if I've just been making this way too hard on myself for no reason. Not that we've ever done that before. Alright, so we also need to make sure that when we land... There we go. Can't tell if I've got the angle right. I think that's right. Let's go a little bit, yeah, like that. Okay. And I was so concerned about getting the jump right, I didn't watch the flame timing. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, this is good. Good and fun. Can I hit that? I don't know that I can. Nope, sure can. Alright, never mind. So that doesn't work at all. <laughs> and... Back to half dead. At least we're only half dead. Which is actually better than we were last time here. Let's get this in one. Got there. Okay. Feel good about this one. Whoop, not too far. Can we... What's the end game here? Ah, okay, got it. It's alright, it's alright. Lightly singed. You can do lightly singed. God, if I'd missed that jump. <laughs> we got there. And a health pack, which we're going to consume immediately. <laughs> alright. Spoosh. Take a nice, refreshing dip. So 
So this is one of the times where, like, the water level is nothing compared to the fire level. <laughs> the anti-Zelda, if you will. Hooray! Nope, come on. Not after all this. Not after all you just put me through. I should get a pass. I should get a gorilla pass. Come on. Come play in the fire. See how you take it. Okay, that's just obnoxious. Uh, yep, all that health packs. The good news is if we get to a checkpoint and then we die, then I think we respawn at a checkpoint with one health pack automatically. So, as long as we can survive to get to the checkpoint, we're kind of okay. All right, Midas, give us your magic touch. Earth, fire, water, sword, the four genders. <laughs> and there, I swear to God, if this unleashes like four gorillas and two cats, I'm gonna scream. Thanks, Midas. Alrighty. Down here. Uh, which way is not the dead end? Okay, straight ahead. Back up for air. <laughs> yep, there we go. Kind of took half our air just to go down and back up again. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be a very long trip. Are air lesbians a thing? I mean, according to Avatar, I'm pretty sure. Uh, air? Is there air here? Please? Please, air? Nope. Sure isn't. Yeah, there is. Okay. Whew. That was a, a spooky scary. Alright, air pocket. And then I get stuck. It's fine. We recovered it. Right, we'll go this way. Wherever this leads. There we go. Whoop. And up. Hey ha! Ha! <sighs> Good times. Now we have. Oop. I heard a squeak. Man, all right. Can I just leave the mice alone? Is what I'm saying. Okay. Look! Look at him. Look at him, scamper. Keep trying, buddy. You'll get me eventually. I'm gonna catch up on chat though. You just keep going. You just keep doing your thing. You outran a globe. That's probably Earth. That's a good point. <laughs> it's, yeah, it really is puppy. Well, there we go. I hate hearing the squeaks and not knowing where they're coming from. Rodents of unknown location? I don't think they actually exist. Oh, please, please, forward. Please, forward. That's true, Kiyoshi probably does count for all four. Sure, close enough. <laughs> is it? It is! Oh, there you are. All right, here's the second Poseidon room. So this is the big water temple. Eh, uh, it's gonna take me a moment. 
Oh, shut up, jerk ass. Alright, first let's figure out where we're going, because that switch is important. I bet we're going there. What does this do? Okay, so that's raise the water level. Cool, 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 cool. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and... Oh, more gator friends. Great. Wonderful. Gonna have to kill them, too. Already sad about it. There's a crate over there. Can I grab that, or is that... That might be actually be too high. Uh, can I grab this one? Let's find out. Whoop. Nope, sure can't. Okay, they haven't noticed us. Nope, up. Up, Laura. Laura. Alright, let's bring this back down. And we'll go about this on foot. There we go. <laughs> Does Tai Lee wave his hands in a complex Tai Chi pattern bend? I mean, both yes, well, I mean, no. She's not a, a capital B bender, but she's very bendy, which is a whole other thing. Also, possibly my favorite character in the whole show. Why have I done this? Oh, that's why I've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, really? You went right past it? You had a hand out in that direction? It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's try that again. Sound in theory. Poor in development. Yeah, that thing right there, Laura? You couldn't jump to that? All right, what if we try the, the weird trick? Mini SMG ammo. We don't have one of those either. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Hey, nope. There we go. Gotta have our feet up to jump, that makes sense. Alright, and around here. Gonna make a tiny adjustment. There. This made me think of the water section in Amnesia. Yeah! No, I, I, I can see that. Let me move around here. Sorry about that. I think there was hopefully not too much audio awfulness. Alright, that's where we're going. We're gonna have to get something down there to float up here. Oh, hi, friend. Listen, I'm real sorry about this. No, I'm not, because I can't hit you. I'm not sorry about anything. How about now? Oh, yeah, I can hit you. All right. Listen, this will be uh, easier? Question mark. They get iframes. Why don't I get iframes? Really? <laughs> We're just gonna walk it along? Send the gator to the next zip code? Oh, okay, that one's done. Uh, and there are two more? Looks like two more. Alright. At least keep the casualties to a cool million. Whoop. Oh, shotgun ammo. Hello. Here. Nothing there. Ah, great. You never know what you're going to need it for, but you always know you're going to need it. There. There we go. And over. Over around to here and around. There we go. I'm trying to get better at doing those without having to go, like, 360 on them every time because there will almost certainly be a time where we need to like speed through those alright uh can we just toss you right off the side here like that perfect can we jump that Whoop. yes we can uh okay so that was cool we got some crates down oh there's another switch okay Got some crates down low. There we go. Can we stand on top of the thing? 
We can stand on top of the thing. Awesome. All right. Let's go over here. Nope. Let's go over. Laura, please. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Let's move the crates all the way down. Over here and a sploosh. Let's just make this quick. They do the hiss. You kind of have to aim over them. Alright, that's you gone. Wait for it. Just inching ever closer. It's like fighting a tonberry. There we go. Alright, let's go get our other crate. Whoop. Nope. One more time. Got there. Down. Where is other crate? There's other crate. Okay. It's all like brown on gray. Like a proper mid 2000s title. Yep. There we go. Oh, there's a ladder. Hi. Sorry, I missed you the first time. Can we move it there? We can. Nice little lip they left us. Let's go around here. And over here. Do 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 do. And uh, yep. Cool. Let's back to the other switch. Up here. Over here. And up here. Up oh, here, I said. <laughs> and around. A chunk. There goes the water. It's important to drain your pool at the end of the season, you know, just for safety. Whoop. And we're down. Alright. Two switches, two grates, these are probably related. There. Off to the thing. Nice. Floaty platform. Let's just make sure you're all the way on there. All right, your turn. And around. And the other grate. Oh, or not. Okay. All right, now, why? Why, though? Oh! Okay, so we need to get you up and into there. Probably on the broken side so that we can swim in. And Okay, got it. I got it. I'm with you. Uh, now how do I get out of here? <laughs> I keep going down without a clear exit plan as how to get back up, and that's, that's not a thing that you should do. Can't recommend it. Wait, hang on. I don't even know what that was. I think that's a health pack. Ammo makes a different noise. There we go. And around. Whoop. One more. There we go. Round again. There we go. Good like we've just kind of gone around in a big circle. Hopefully it's a productive circle. All right, this is where we came down. That's a good sign, usually. Yep. Can we make that? Yeah, we can. I forgot that was the thing. All right, let's get the water back. Yep. All right. I think we have most of the pieces. Alright, so let's see. That side has the broken bit. So we go this way. 
Over here. Up, oh, please. Thank you. Grab this thing. Still not over the water effects. I know that's a silly thing, but like, it's very pretty. Grab you there. And we'll just make sure you're all the way on this side. So that now when we raise the water level all the way up, you'll let us get to whatever's over there. Which is probably important. All right, let's go do the other water trigger. Ah, got it. That's why I couldn't get that ladder before. Oh, really? Fine. Really felt like we jumped straight out of that one game. I don't know how much clearer I can make my intentions here. There we go. Okay. Up. Up more. Up one more time. Okay. Cool. All right. That's the way out. That's the thing we need to get. <laughs> Crap. All right. Well, we've done this bit before. Stands to reason we'll be able to do it again. He said with totally unearned confidence. There and around. Go around again. Corner. Flip. Shimmy. Dodge. Parry. Thrust. It's a buck and a quarter quarter staff, but I'm not telling him that. Alright, and we go up here. And around here. And we grab this thing. Water! Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. Hopefully with a less complicated Brita filtration system than this. Oh, it popped all the way up. Hopefully that's okay. Um, we might have hecked up here. Because I don't think I can grapple hook from solid ground. That's a shame. Uh, dang. That, mm, that might soft lock us, actually. I don't know if I can get close enough to it from anywhere else to grapple it back into the water. <laughs> what over here? Can we go up here? Maybe. Probably not, right? Nope. Oh no! Alright, well, what if, uh, if I do a load? Nope. Won't give me a reset, will you? If I do a save first, we'll do this. That. Uh, now the question is, did it checkpoint me before or after we turn that one? Oh yeah, there it is. Popped up. That's a real shame! Oh wait, we can go here. Okay, hang on. We can save this. So we really need it in the water. And I think we can pull it back from over here. Let's see if I'm right. Go up here. I don't think I can jump that high, can I? Let's find out. Whoop. Nope, sure can't. All right, so I can pull it to this side of the barricade, but that doesn't really help us any. All right, we're going to have to undo our work a little bit here, I think. Look at it go. I want to see if I can push it while swimming. I don't think I can. I did it. Oh, no, no, come on. Let me let me use it for a ramp. Oh, come on. Oh. Turns out I didn't have any water to hand, which is disappointing, but I do have store brand cola. That's fair. If you don't have your own water, store bought. Whoop, that's not gonna work. Uh, hey, hey, bye. No? Alright. <sighs> Fine, okay, we have to undo all our work. Well, not all of our work. But we now have to pull it out on the wrong side 
of the divide like so. Swim back over here. Lower the water, go down, move it again, then raise the water again. Could be worse. At least it's just obnoxious. Grab this. And there. Unpredictable buoyancy physics. Bane of my existence. Alright. So now it's on. Yep, yeah, okay, I see it now. So we just need to pull it, like, all the way over, I think. Let's go over here. This to here. Drop, drop there. Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> I was worried I got us stuck. <laughs> hey, hey! At least we still have that, right? Alright, so let's pull you just all the way in here. Which I thought we'd done last time, but clearly not. Can I pull you up onto land? No, okay, that's fine. That's probably close enough, right? And up, and up. Go all the way to the top, just in case. I don't know why it makes that such a desperate grab, but here we are. Up to this thing again. And up to this thing. Here. And over. Over here. To you. Listen, at this point, we will have mastered this particular segment. Here. I was trying to say segment and sequence at the same time. Turns out, not really a word you can splice well. Whoop, come on! So tilt is a thing in this game, as you're noticing. <laughs> Possibly the game's most powerful difficulty weapon. Because when you have to do something five times, you start to rush the bits of it that you haven't failed on before. And then the game teaches you that that's a bad idea. <laughs> Here we go. And up. A little bit more gently this time. There. Over. Almost. Hit it up the ramp again. Hit the other thingy. There. Turn the switch. Okay, buoyancy, I really need you to behave just just a little bit kindly, if you would, please. Okay, I think it did it. Yes, looks like it did it. <gasps> okay. Let's do this. Let's get it over with. So now, we swim through the gap. We get on top of the little platform we made. <coughs> we get, there we go. On top of the little platform we made. We pull it a little bit closer to the ledge we need. And we try not to miss this jump. We did it! Hooray. And down. Whoop! There we go. This is fine. Splash! Hooray, we're out of the other water temple. Uh, okay. Ah, I see a light. Okay. I gotta tell y'all, doing this on the, uh, on the console version, where the draw distance is piss poor, uh, makes this particular sequence a lot more difficult, but like on PC, this is great. Free of splishy. I mean, mostly we're still, we're still splishy adjacent, but it's fine. All uh, right, I think the cave we want is right down here. I think it's right down here. Yep. 
Yeah, this is just way clearer. <laughs> and up. And switch. So try finding that cave when you have a draw distance of like 20 in-game feet. And it's just, it's a lot of searching around in the foggy murk and drowning a bunch. <laughs> but here, no problem. And up. Come on. Got this. Eventually. Yeah. All right. Nope, missed it. Uh, let's hop over here real quick and grab the shinies. Because we've got a boss fight coming up, and I want to be as prepared as possible. Mm -hmm. Shotgun. And 50 cal. Good. Speaking of... <laughs> Excuse me. Reload. Reload. Perfect. Uh, let's stick with... Let's do those. Well, we'll do those. We'll make up our mind eventually. Story time. A piece of this... The, what do they call it? The Skion. Here lies the god king Tihokan. One of the Triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the Skion, leader of the Chosen after the great betrayal caused Atlantis to be lost beneath the waves. Tomb raiding across the universe. Oh, well, no, no, it's just a, just a big stone box. And our pony elves ripping out. Oh, hi, it's you. you. Instincts can be expensive. Yours are going to cost you both pieces of the Skion. That's not a price I'm prepared to pay. Don't be absurd. No job is worth dying for. Yes, it is. Ah! Give me that. Oh, now it's Mirror's Edge. I thought for sure he was about to break out a Hadouken. Yeah, I think he just grabbed the ski on while we were busy reading history. Oh! That's right, these things! They're centaurs, but with horse heads, which is just like a double horse. It's like a like a horse turduck. Thanks, ass. Oh, oh, well, oh good, and now, now they have noticed us, the gazebo has noticed us now. Whoop, can't think. Whoop, whoop, no, no, I don't want that. I don't want, we've been turned to stone. Okay, all right, apparently it's not permanent. What we actually need here is something with a high ammo bar. Get their rage meter up. That's not good. It's fine. We can wiggle. We can wiggle. Woo! Jump right into it. It's fine. If I can hit one of them. Come on. Come at me. They were supposed to be grabbing their shields. Whoop! Ow! But unfortunately, they have two rage attacks, and one of them is the uh, this thing that we can't avoid. But once that's done... Oh, I see you. Nope, 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 you. And also, they have the fireballs! Okay. The real enemy here is the camera. Come at me. I guess that missed. Sure. Let's go with yes. 
Ow. We're gonna die from this just on damage because we can't do this loot forever. Let's just get out of the way. And dead. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. And hopefully not deal with the bugs as much. There we go. Okay, so if we're actually if we break targeting, apparently we can dodge that, which is nice. Come on. Cool. All right. Nope. This one. This one. Okay. Game. <laughs> the one right in front of you is the one I'd prefer to target. All right. Cool. That actually helps a lot. Never mind. It's got a lot easier all of a sudden. I just assumed that couldn't be dodged. There we go. Progress. Let's get both shields off and then we'll go back to the other piece. It's probably unnecessary. Nope, this one. Nope. Nope, oh, no, nope. Come on. Come on. Charge at me. Yay, all right. Now, this part should probably seem pretty predictable. Let's actually switch. Whoop. Nope, oh, no. What? All right. I guess that one just bugged out. It's fine. Bugs in this game? Don't be ridiculous. All right, so we need to Whoop, get them to do that so that we can Medusa them. Crap. Nope. There we go. Alright, one down. It's just got much easier. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Got there. Hi, Pierre. Bye, Pierre. Thanks for the key thing. Holy crap. This is probably fine. Oh, it's like a clock! Or... a Venn diagram? Who knows? You have tainted the power of the Skion. In betraying your fellow kings, you have broken the sacred triumvirate of Atlantis. You have maimed Qualopec. Your own brother. I am still here, wretch. Teokan has ended your treachery. But it is my face to see in your nightmares. Oh, that's what the dude from the throne in Peru. Yourself. Whoop, there we go. Yum. Oh, no. Oh, crap. What a rude vision. I remember this from 2001. Exactly, the, the Jupiter landing sequence. Holy crap, we got there. I would love to save my progress game. Thank you so much for asking. I love that we recognized that particular doorway carved into the side of a nondescript mountain. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, listen, we've got five minutes left. We're not really going to make any real progress in, I think we're in Egypt now, um, with five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and call it just a little bit early. But, uh, listen, the important thing is we got there. We got all the way through the Greece chapter in one night, which I'm very happy about. Um, 
obviously there were some moments, but we got there. Uh, there will probably be some more moments in the Egypt chapter, but you know what? We don't have to worry about that tonight. That'll be for Monday when we're back on our, our regular schedule. Monday, Thursday, next week, and I think we might actually wrap this game up next week. Uh, we'll, we'll see how much more I end up fighting the interface uh, versus other stuff. It is Thursday night, which means in just a little bit over here, over on the Squirrel Lily channel, um, I believe Alice is streaming more Chrono Trigger, which is coming up on its conclusion. I don't know if it'll end tonight, but that may also wrap up next week. Uh, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting close. And you know what? It's about time. Uh, sorry, I can't resist that joke every time. Um, let's see. Anything else? Check out our stream team under the About page. All of our, our wonderful fellow streamers. Uh, and you've seen the, the donate links posted in the chat. Um, if you, you have the means or know folks who do, please spread the word um, and get folks out there for the protesters on the ground who are literally fighting the good fight um, and can use all the support that we can give them to just make things better, honestly, which would be just a nice change. Um, kind of a rare thing, but we'll make it happen together. So that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for coming by and for tolerating this game with me. It's really appreciated. It's much easier with y'all here, I think, than trying to do this one on my own. Um, and yeah, what we're going to try to do a, a bonus stream noon Eastern Saturday. Uh, it'll actually be more Tomb Raider. I'm going to try and get through Croft Manor and see if I can poke around and find all of its little weird secrets. So it'll just be kind of a chill, hopefully chill stream <laughs> of uh, platforming and puzzle solving, but without having to attack any animal friends, which will be nice. That'll be a good change. A little bit of escapism. So, yeah, that's the end of my babble. Um, have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, everyone. And uh, I'll catch you all around for the next one.